Oh, this is Kelly. Oh, hi, hello. Uh, this is WW Poodle here, and I wanted to show you uh, this shelf that my three tiered shelf that my husband is making for my African violets. <coughs> it's got three legs on it, so it's very open. I'm going to put it right in front of my living room window. And the third shelf up here is not on. He's going to be making that today. And this is just a skeleton of it, and I wanted to show you step by step. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Okay, he's now put up the top shelf, not completely. He's we're uh, we put a shelf on, and then we we're putting like this trim on that has like these little leaves. I can't see. right there so that there's a little lip on the shelf see how the shelf is plain like that and then we're going to add that to it so that um, like uh, plants can be inside that area so anyways that's the next step What you say? Down. What you just did? What? I was running, oh, running. Okay, so what I did is I finished all the routering in these, in these areas here, and I, I just wet towel all the area surfaces to get all the residue of sandpaper off. And I'm getting ready to pound it or paint it, and so I wanted to check with my sweetheart and see if, she, if there was any more areas that she wanted routered. So I'm going to turn it over like this, and this is what it's going to. This is, this is what it is. Looks like in the raw. And this is the front. This is the front of it. And it sort of has three shelves: 24 by 24, 24 by 21, and 24 by 18. That's the depth. Anyway, so you see that the, this is the finished product. So I sanded it all down. Routed the edges here and here, inside and out, on the bottom. And these two areas right here could possibly be shelves that she could pull, that Mary could pull in and out if she wants to. But these are more permanent here. These are these are here to keep away the dogs. Yeah, we have to have it high because of our standard poodles. They, uh, if we have them low down there, then they would be able to get to them easier. They can actually get to them up here too, but we're hoping that they won't do that. It'd be too much effort. Okay, so the next step is to paint it, and so we'll see okay. you soon. Okay. Hi, Lincoln. Oh! Sorry about that. Uh, good morning. This is WW Poodle here, and. I wanted to show you the end result of our African Violet Shelf. He's bringing it in right now. And got it all painted. We got the wheels on it. <clears throat> now we have to get it through this doggy door here. He's probably going to have to lift it. There you go. <clears throat> it's a whole big deal. There's the top shelf right there, which you're probably never going to see again because it's way up there. And that's the back part that we were looking at. This side, and here's the front. <coughs> and here's my violets that are over there. But anyways, there's the end result of my African violet stand. And um, in a moment, I will show you what it looks like with plants on it. Okay, see you soon. Well, we are finally here. The African violet stand that my husband made for me is all done. And it's in place right in front of that window, that long window there. Perfect for the sun. There's no lights um, as in um, lamps or fluorescent lights. There's none of that because we put it right in front of the window so the Lord's light can um, uh, nourish the plants and here's some other ones on the piano that you've seen before and there's a 
better look at my stand in position and here's the, the bottom shelf none of these have blooms yet but um, they will I'm just kind of showing you the the vintage pots that they're in and also let's see if I can do this one up here I really can't see so and then down here he had to make some extra braces and I'm not sure if we like the way that looks so I think he might be making some extra trays or something to go down there on the bottom uh, we couldn't put too many trays and shells on the bottom because of our standard poodles they can get to anything in fact they can get to those even those <laughs> if they really wanted to um, but anyway so I think we might be doing that and let's see if I can show you that it oh it rolls around but I I don't want to do it with one hand and mess it up so oops <laughs> sorry about that but anyways um, I thought it turned out very very nice and I wanted to share that with you so I hope you like it and um, maybe you guys can get some ideas and build something similar or you can just enjoy mine there's lots of light that can go on top of the African violets and um, don't have to worry about an electrical bill on this on this group. So let's see. There's Isabella. She says goodbye. Thanks for watching. And there's Lincoln. He says thanks for watching. <laughs> and here's my small little collection up here. Seen that before. And there's Oliver. Hi, Oliver. <laughs> well, once again, thank you for being with us and watching this video. It was exciting to, to watch it from start to finish. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will be talking to you soon. Happy Violets. Bye bye.